Did you ever wonder what it would take for mobile devices to use their camera to understand their surroundings like we do? Project Sango is a computer vision platform that can do that by tracking motion, recognizing spaces, and scanning the surroundings in 3D. My name is Nikolai, and in this episode, we will talk about how motion tracking gives mobile devices the power to track fine-grained movement and move with you. Motion tracking can follow your motion smoothly, whether you are standing, walking, or biking. We found that it works well on Earth, but we took the testing one step further. Project Angle was launched to the International Space Station as part of the SPHERES robots program. These were self-propelled robots that floated around the space station, and Project Tango was integrated to give live motion tracking feedback. In this episode, we are going to share with you how motion tracking works and how you can get started with it. Imagine you had a virtual solar system in your living room. With motion tracking, you can simply walk from planet to planet to have a closer look at each of them. Or you can use the device to control a spaceship as it descends and flies around on the surface of one of the planets. Whether you're building a space game or something else, you can use motion tracking to take the user on a journey through a virtual world. So how does motion tracking work? Project Tango collects data from a fisheye camera and an inertial measurement unit, or IMU. The image from the camera is used to identify visual features such as edges and corners and track how much they move between frames to determine distance traveled. This is called feature tracking. The IMU uses an accelerometer and a gyroscope to track how fast the device accelerates and in which direction it's turning. Lastly, the images are fused with the image IMU sensor data to calculate how much the device has moved. Did I mention that this all happens on the device? in real time at up to 100 times per second. And since 60 images per second is where motion tracking looks smooth to the human eye, users get a seamless sense of motion. Now, one challenge is that the human eyes have a very wide field of view, almost 180 degrees, which greatly improves our ability to see and run away from tigers. So in order to increase motion tracking accuracy in mobile devices, Project Tango uses wide-angle fisheye lenses at up to 160 degrees to capture details of the environment. Think about the corner of a doorway. It has high contrast and can be easily identified over time. For motion tracking to work well, we need to identify many of these features in the environment. And the wider the camera angle, the better our chances to find more such features, which in turn increases the reliability and accuracy of motion tracking. In order to use motion tracking, you need to understand Project Tango's coordinate systems and the concept of frame of reference. Project Tango tracks the relative position of the device in three dimensions from a starting point. This point is called the origin, and it's always 0, 0, 0. The orientation of the device is also tracked around the same three axes. Since we can move and rotate on each axis, with, we end up with six degrees of freedom in total. Together, we refer to the combination of position and orientation as the device pose. The other important concept is frame of reference. In motion tracking, everything happens relative to where you start. This is the origin. The origin always coincides with where you connect to and start your Project Tango service. We refer to the frame of reference as the start of service frame. The start of service frame in turn relates to the frame of the device. When you combine the two frames, you get the position and orientation of the device in space. Project Tango supports many more frames of reference, but for motion tracking, this is all you need. Let's have a look at Project Tango Explorer to see how motion tracking works in practice. We are going to use Explorer in its default mode, which shows the raw motion tracking data. The pyramid, also known as the device frustrum, displays the orientation of the device, and the app shows the position as a blue trace when you move around. If we walk in a circle, the device will show a circle on the screen. If we draw a circle with the device in front of us, you will see it works in all three dimensions. It is fundamental for us to be able to move, yet currently available devices only track orientation and position at a course level. Motion tracking in Project Tango is all about giving mobile devices an understanding of movement that fully track the way we move. Altogether, 
it lets the device become a window into a virtual space, enables augmented reality, and makes it possible to use the device as a motion controller. While we continue to improve the robustness of the system, APIs are available so you can take advantage of motion tracking and build truly mobile experiences. Visit our Google Plus community and join us on our journey. We are excited to see what you will build with Project Tango.